Let's read the word of God in John chapter 13. We'll read from verse 1 to 13. I don't prophesy um, just for the sake of it. But today there is something that is changing in your feet. Let's read the word of God. Tupatie bashoni rais. Tupatie living Bible. Tuende araka. Okay, let's read the word of God like good children of God want to go. Before the Passover celebration, Jesus knew that his hour had come to leave this world and return to his father. He had loved his disciples during his ministry on earth. And now he loved them to the very end. It was time for supper. Ongeza two volume. Jesus knew that the Father had given and poured water into a basin, drying them with the towel he had around him. When Jesus came to Simon Peter, Peter said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you don't understand now what I'm doing, but someday you will. Ambia jirani yako, unaweza kosa kuelewa tunafanya nini leo? Utaelewa badai. Verse 8. No, Peter protested. Jesus replied, unless I wash you, you will not belong to me. Simon Peter exclaimed. Okay, let's go verse 10. Jesus replied, give me a heart like Jesus. Gojeni, by the time you listen to my story, Mungu will be able to help you. Imagine Yesu was patient enough to give you. Now, Yesu, if you have a towel, you have to wash your hands. This is my story. And he has to wash his hands. Yesu, you have to wash your hands. If you have to wash your hands, you have no hands. Then, how to stop her? Then, Yesu, you have to wash your hands. Let's read verse 10. A person who has bathed all over does not need to wash except for the feet to be entirely clean. And you disciples are clean, but not all of you. Jesus knew. That is what he meant when he said, not all of you are clean. After washing their feet, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, do you understand what I was doing? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, because that is what I am. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash others' feet. Okay, let's go to the next verse. I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. So as we wash our feet today, in case you are saying, what is this they are doing? You'll understand it better by and by. But Jesus told the disciples, that as you have seen me do, do also. And do to one another. Why did Jesus say that, all, that you, you don't need to be washed if you, if you have already bathed? Remember this time Jesus had not died. So by this time he was washing them because washing the feet was ceremonial in the Middle East. As a way of receiving guests. If you have a guest in your house... You would give them a basin of water for two reasons. Number one, in the wilderness, is dusty. And number two, it's very hot. It is a cooling system. Tell your neighbor, you will ride in your cool places. After today's feet washing, majoto ya maisha itatoka. Kama anayelewa video unasema, mwambia, I say amen on your behalf. Yes. So, kuwashwa, so by the time alikuwa nafanya ceremonial cleansing, Peter hakuwa nauliza because alikuwa na ujeuli. Alikuwa naelewa that ordinarily the people that should be washed are guests of people that carry honor. So when he saw Jesus washing their feet, he got confused. 
Because to him, according mahali alikuwa ametoka, mtu anaoswa miguu either akiwa ni mgeni ama ni mtu ameheshimika. But then Jesus akamwambia, you call me teacher and you call me Lord. And I am reassigning you to be teachers and to be lords. But humility and service is the way up. Can I get a better amen? If you want to be great, you must be humble. If you want to be great, you must be the one to be stepping up to do the odd jobs. Because feet are smelly. Migu, mtu akimaliza kutembea na viatu, my friend. Ukae hapo muwashe migu, migu ikuagi smart, kweli ya maurongo. So for Jesus to be able to wash the disciples' feet, it meant that God is willing to go down with you no matter how far low you are. He is able to lift you up. There is a lifting up in this service. There is a lifting up in this service. There is a lifting up in this service. If you are in agreement, shout the loudest, amen. amen. Now in the New Testament after Jesus came, the uncleanliness that was in Judas was not the uncleanliness of the feet. It was the uncleanliness of the heart. So how come that through feet washing, hearts were revealed. Are we communicating? That means there is a connection between your heart and your feet. And how do I know that? Proverbs chapter 1 verse, verse 15 and verse 16 says that there are feet that run. My child, don't go along with them. Stay away from their parts. Who are these? Verse 16. They rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. Give me now in New King James or NIV, I think it is. And their feet, okay, my son, do not walk in the way of them. Keep your feet, foot from their path. For their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed blood. Your feet goes where your heart is. That is why Jesus said that even as I'm washing your feet, one of you, the heart is not right. May the Lord purify our hearts. They are what we call hasty feet. Migu miepesi ya kufanya maovu. Number two, I also want to know, you to know that when we look at you, if everybody face was masked and kila mutu ambu atue viatu, it is easy to identify a female feet and a male foot. Kweli ama urogo. Kweli ama urongo. If kila mtu ambu atoe viatu na uketi ama usimame ama ulale naweza kujua kama umeketi kama umelala ama kama umesima because your feet represent your identity That is why Joshua aliambiwa that wherever your feet shall trend upon I will give you as an inheritor. You can imagine kuna migu ya wanyama itapitia hapo. Kuna maybe migu ya amaleka itapitia hapo. But as long as identity ya Joshua, the footprint of Joshua is on that land, mungu atampatia. Kuna mahali shamba yako hiko. Your feet will take you there. Lift up your voice and say, my feet, my feet. You have an inheritance. You must get it by all means. Can I get a better amen? Your feet carry an identity. We can tell whether you are female or male. We can also tell whether you are grown or whether you are young. Ata tunaeza gauge your ears by how we look at your feet. Sini ukweli. Migu muze, unajua hii ni muze. Migu ya mtoto, unajua ni ya mtoto. Migu ambayo imepitia jangwani. Bana suwe sana? Bana suwe sana? Tell me, but you are riding on your high and soft places. Unaweza, ukikuja, utajua migu ya mtu wa shairima kama yangu. Na ya mtu hajawa irima. Migu wata ukidunga hivi unaona damu na ako 25. Hiyo ni migu tender. Hau ni watu wa serera kuna diapers. Bona swe sana. And there is nothing wrong with it. But what I know is after today's service, your background will become irrelevant. Yeah. I can't hear your amen. Yeah. I can't hear your loudest amen. Mamuro mo the men ame atoka gai ni agogo kuha. 
Do you know what mere talkers are? <laughs> Do you know why in Nairobi you rarely see people having mere talkers? Mere talkers are cracks on your heel. You rarely see them because you rarely walk barefoot. But go to the village. You don't even need to stay there one week. See the query? Watch at a meatoka. Meatoka is an upgrade. Dutu. Do you know what dutu is? Parasites. What do you call dutus in English? Oh, jiggers. And I don't know why they laugh it. Because they are canker worms and palmer worms, the enemies that the Lord has sent. Every enemy biting your feet, they must surrender in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and say, every programmed attack written on the ground against me in the name of Jesus I will escape. Uh, the genius or the wisdom behind which doctors or people who carry charms akiambiwa sasa tuseme atengeneze charm or hirisi atambiwa uhakikishe Mahali amekanyanga ama mahali atakanyanga ndiyo utamwaga. Why? Because there are weapons that are particularly fashioned for your feet. What do they follow? Your identity. Lift your voice and say every weapon planted against me on the ground in the name of Jesus I escape today. I escape today. I escaped today. Clap your hands if you believe you have already escaped. Oh, I love the way you are clapping. I love the way you are clapping. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. What on in Nahum chapter 1 and verse 15, Nahum. Nahum is near the book of Jeroboam. Okay, let's read the word of God. Behold on the mountains the feet of him who brings good tidings, who proclaims peace, O Judah. Keep your appointed feasts, feasts, perform your vows, for the wicked one shall no more pass through you. He is utterly cut off. Your feet is going up to the mountain. And whoever ha the wicked who have been bypassing you through your shop, bypassing through where you stay, planting charms and planting things to destroy your life, the Bible is saying they shall be utterly cut off. If you are in agreement, shout the loudest, amen. Whoever wants to cut short your life, by laying traps for your feet, they are already cut off from your life from today. All I need is an amen from you. I am doing the work for you. All you need to say is say amen. Ebu angalia chini sema kina hirisi imepandwa. Kinyume na maisha yangu. Nikikanyanga niwe mugonjwa. Ama nisipate baraka. Yule alie ipanda. Utaanguka kwa ajiri yangu. As for me, I am going to the high places. I am resting in the mountains. Hey, celebrate if you are celebrating. Hakuna siraha iliyoundwa kinyume na wewe itafauru. If somebody holds your feet, let me tell you you are defeated. Si ni kweli? Tuseme tuingie wrestling match. Ushike mtu miguu hata kama ako na nguvu gani. My friend ukishika miguu utamngaorania. Are we speaking the truth? Ukishika mtu mkono anaweza kutembea hivi. Because your feet represents your stability. So when the enemy attacks your feet, he has paralyzed your destiny. That is why in Psalm 18, Hannah sang and said that he makes my feet like the hind's feet. That I run like the female deer. Your feet are receiving the power to accelerate. You are moving faster than your enemies. Before they appear, you shall disappear. Tell never before you appear. The Lord would have brought down your enemy. Mare kosa. Mati gire matubika. Makeri ganero ate idwe tuwebe o. Teri watonu gerera. Rejoice. 
Read, uh, just write down Psalm 18, verse 33, and then write Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 19. Psalm 18, verse 33, Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 19, Isaiah 52, and verse 7. Your feet can reveal your status. Not only your identity, but your status. Nitendere hiyo maneno. Niwaeleze. Your feet can reveal your status. If you have been walking barefoot, and we all come here, it is easy to tell you have been walking barefoot. If you have been probably not showered and not oiled your feet, we are able to tell. But if your feet is made, even the way it is made, we can tell which salon you went to. Bwana sifiwe sana. Naona watu wakificha miguu. Hallelujah bwana sifiwe. There are levels of pedicure. Kuna half pedicure. Kuna full pedicure. Men wacha tu waelimishe. There is no nail polish and there is gel polish. All of them are good, but they reveal the weight of your pocket. Having natural feet is not a crime. But I have realized that the more money begins to attack you, the more you begin to attack things that don't look right. May you get money to fix things. <laughs> Am I speaking? Hata wanaume squeeze they waliachana na talos. Yaani unatoa miguu unaona hii miguu inaweza great carrot. Vile hiyo miguu iko na power. Your feet can reveal status even right now. And I'm sorry to say so I just wanted to make it practical as possible. Sasa hii uangalie kiatu ya mtu utajua mtu ambaye ako jangwani. I am weak. Oh, Jesus, what did I touch? Look at your shoe and tell him, my shoe, my shoe. You are not my identity. From today, my status is changing. Tulipokuwa kituki grow up, but not by, by choice, by force. All of us were sadak. Wangapi waliwea sadak hapa? Ah, ninaona tuko hengi. Naona hapa ati munauziwa hizi marabas, munauziwa hizi, zinauziwa hivi, unavaa hivi. Mimi ata yuuzwe 20 bo, siwe sinunua. I have a grudge with those shoes. They had a way of cooking you when it is hot. And then they had a way of also expanding. So you will go na pata 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 pata. How many understand what I'm talking about? But because there was poverty those days, ukinunuliwa sada kulikuwa unatembea kama unabodi dege. Because ordinarily, wale wame grow ushago, tulikuwa tunatembea migutu. Udhiye magoro, tikuga doga ya kila kila watu. Come on, shout a better aim. I'm saying even if you walk barefoot, the Lord will dress your foot. When you are beginning life, Maybe nowadays hakuna shida ya viatu. Sikuizi naona mpaka za China ziko mpya. Minister Mine, like in the 90s, sikulikuanga shida ya viatu. Hii area yote, those of you who don't know the history of River Road, thank you, Minister Mine, hii yote ilikuwaka ni mashopi ya wahindi. Na kulikuwaka na viatu ya maskini, na ya watu serious. <laughs> Na zilikuwa zinatengenezewa na leza ingine. Uluku na ingie hiyo shop, my friend. But right now, it is easy even to get a new shoe on the streets. So those times, because the economy was not as it is. Uluku na angalia, mutu alikuwa na tembea unaacha solo kwa barabara na umesa hao. How many understand what I'm talking about? Unatembea ama unatembea uko. Kama Julio Jiabo, those of you who know history, kama hili ya Julio Jiabo inaeza toka. Uku unatembe, umetembe, si unasike uko kastiana, unenda kekomba, unanunua. Uju hili kwa imetumika sana. Pakati sherehe imeshika, hili na achwa. Na baki hivi. 
your feet can reveal your status. The shoe you are wearing can tell us whether the wilderness has you or you have mastered it. The wilderness will not burn you. I can't hear your amen. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news. The Lord will elevate your feet to carry good news in Jesus' name. Who proclaims salvation and who says to Zion, your God. So everywhere you enter, you will carry a message from Zion. My God reigns. When you enter your village, they will say, if that is so and so, riding this way, hey, your God reigns. May you have a testimony because of your feet. There are journeys you can make and people begin to say, your God reigns. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. After you finish the syllabus of walking, there is a way God can put you on a high places. That instead of walking, now you begin to drive. And when people see you, they begin to say, your God reigns. Let people testify that your God reigns. Lift up your voice and say, as my feet get washed today, anywhere my feet has been forbidden to enter, I enter in the name of Jesus. I enter in the name of Jesus. You will drive your car and nobody will die. I can't hear you. Amen. You will build your house and enter and occupy and nothing will happen to your generation. You will occupy a high position and no power will dethrone you in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and say, any power that celebrates my demotion, if you are in my feet, hear the word of the Lord. I rise up to my mountain. I rise up to my mountain. Open up your mouth and break every barrier. I rise up to my mountain. that has maintained you in low positions let that power release your throne give them a high five and celebrate them as you sit down your feet carry your identity carry your status and number three carry your inheritance it carries your inheritance the good example is that God told Joshua wherever your feet shall tread upon <laughs> I will give you as a, an inheritance. It means that in your feet, there is something. You're not empty. And the purpose of this feet washing service is to make the message clear. Kai, 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 kai. It is to put clarity that whatever belongs to you shall not go to another. Yeah. And because we are not done with our 90 days of prayer, would you help me pray that any evil feet that is standing on my territory disappear 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 in whose name 
Deuteronomy 28 and verse 23. I'm almost done. Deuteronomy 28. And your heavens which are over your head shall be bronze. And the earth which is under you shall be iron. Why is this written? If you read from verse 1, it says that, Be careful to obey what the Lord your God has taught you and not to worship other God. But it says that in case you disobey me, these are the curses that will follow you. Among the curses is that the heavens which are over your head shall be bronze, and the earth which is under you shall be iron. Your bare feet cannot break iron. Are we together on that? If you decide today and we all gang up, and we say that this whole ground is iron, and we, we stand on it, Till tomorrow, iron will remain iron. But there is an anointing that melts iron. <laughs> it is called the power of your blessing. The power that causes a man to receive your inheritance. You are receiving your inheritance and your blessing. And the earth will open up for your sake. Hey. That means that there are people who walk in life. But wherever they walk, they walk in iron places. Same Nairobi, but different results. Same weather conditions, but one person, the heavens are closed. Nothing can bear fruit. But another one, like Isaac, will plant in farming and have a hundredfold. And they shall speak of your business. That in spite of the economy, that you are still making profits. They will speak of your children. Because the heavens and the earth must open up for us. Your feet is receiving your inheritance. That is why Joshua was told that wherever your feet shall tread upon, lazima ukanyange mahali pamefungwa. Ukikanyanga bingu ama dunia, lazima ifunguke. Jesus himself said that you will trend upon serpents and scorpions. And, and you will be able to destroy them. They will do you no harm. Scorpions and serpents are demonic spirits. That means that even the earth that we are living in, the inheritance is guarded by evil spirits. Are we communicating? That is why it is not everywhere that you go to and prosperity becomes automatic. By the time you are leaving this service, even if you are working on a hard ground, as you enter there, the serpent shall die. As you enter there, the scorpions shall not emit their poison. You will crush them in the name of Jesus. Raise your voice and say, I trend upon serpents and scorpions. In my workplace, in my household, in my generation, I receive my inheritance. Sound like you believe and say, I receive my inheritance. That means there are some of you, you are very blessed. Even people tell you, kukwangale unakanga we ni tajiri. Akikwangale hivyo umesoma, ukona vitu. But because the land of your inheritance is guarded by serpents and scorpions, you cannot inherit. But today we are dealing with them. Orakataka, he gave us power and he has never taken it back. We are going to unlock that power on the insider because your feet is an expression of your heart. Are we communicating? That is why. I am preaching to you the word because if you catch it in your spirit, your feet will comply. Your feet cannot move until your brain tells it to move. Leo utanza kujiambia enderea. Leo utanza kujiambia utajenga nyumba. Leo utanza kujiambia hata kama sina pesa, mimi nitamiliki mataifa. Utanza kujiongelesha hata kama wananiita masikini naenda kugeuza maana hii ardhi lazima inifungukie. Oh, because as a man thinketh, so is. Hakuna mtu wamekukataza kuingia hata ikuru. Ni akiri yako imekwambia huwezi. Hmm? Si unaonaka wa mama, president akiongea. Kama mwingine niliona amekimbia my friend. Alikimbia, that woman is strategic. Tell me as you think, so shall you be. Uyo mama na ni mama we akona kaumuli. I still remember that video very well. Ilikuwa ni dia siko katikati 
So the president was also by himself, President Ruto. Mama alikimbia. Wana kama dikati. Wah! By the time the security were coming, she was already there at the feet. Now they were trying to arrest her. The president had to say, no, stop her. She had to be kept in the dais. There are things that will not be given to you by begging. You need to run to your high place. Ah! I say you need to run to your high place. If they cannot hear you, you are taking yourself there. Every limitation on your mind, let it break. Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor every limitation in your mind that is affecting your progress and affecting your movement. Lazima yondoke sasa. Mwambie lazima yondoke sasa. Mwambie lazima yondoke sasa. Kesho enda kwa hiyo ofisi ya PS. Mwambie nimekuja. Enda kwa ofisi ya mudosi. Na uonge kama wewe unaishi na mungu ambaye ni wa milele. Ya jina ni yako toa baridi kwa roho. You are accepted in Jesus name. Therefore, after this feet washing service, you are receiving not only an audacity, but you are receiving the spirit of favor and acceptance. Huh? Favor and acceptance. Favor and acceptance. Favor and acceptance. Here be a sara ya kikomba ita kukubali. Here be a sara ya kuuza mare mare ita kukubali. Hata kama ni kwa ofisi ita kukubali. Somebody say favor and acceptance. Locate my feet. Lay your hand on your head and say, Makira roho ya limitation. Iko kwenye mawazo ya angu. I pull you down, I pull you down, I pull you down, I pull you down. Sena mama 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 hey. Sere magana nana mashia be. Nana na hey. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Take your seat. Your feet also carry judgment. Your feet carry judgment. And I can see Sharon here. How are you? You're healed. You're fine. You're not feeling dizzy anymore. Were you able to eat? You'll give us a testimony. So you, those of you who came for fire night, we know who Sharon is. Can you celebrate the Lord in the house? Hey, this God, this God is powerful. Your feet will take you to your high places. <laughs> I had, <laughs> for some reason, somebody on TikTok, I don't know, I just saw on TikTok, Mubiri Mwingini Akisema, Atimara Kwanza Kupanda Ndege, Akienda Mombasa, Atialipo Ingia, Apo JK Yaya Kasema, Wacha Nikujwe Chai, Unajua Kabla Ubodi Ndege, So Akisema Wekewe Kachai, Ile kachai ya liretewa. Si munajua ile kachai unaretewa kama dharao. Ile kakombe kadogo. So walipoletewa waka kakombe. Kaka kuja. What was very interesting is that amezoea kuletewa sukari na bakuli. Sasa akaona vitu imeletwa na tukaratasi. So na ye anajua, ukiona kitu mefungo na karatasi, usifungue hiyo ni tea bag. So si ameretewa chai. Alichukua hizo tu karatasi, akaweka kwa chai. Aka koroga. Aka koroga. Sukari haitoki. Aka koroga. Aka sikia hasira inaanza kupanda. But you ride on your high places. Usiogope kuna kuwaka na first time ya kila mtu. Alifanya hiyo makosa hawezi fanya tena. Unakumuka sikuwe kwanza wakati ulipewa fork and knife. Na umezoya mikono power. It's true. There is always a first. Don't be intimidated because you don't know. Have the courage to face what you don't know. Because utaibika mara moja ya pili utaibika. Nisikia another friend of mine akisema ye wakati alikuja Nairobi mara ya kwanza alipewa chai na tiba kikawekwa kando. Ye alijua unakura unakunywa sasa hiyo kitu umepewa na unakuranisha na tiba. Ambia jirani yako haijalishi. Hata ukienda uonekane wewe ni mshamba. 
utaonekana tu mara moja you are riding on your high places kila excuse shetan yameka kama kikwazo kwa mawazo wacha iporomoke saa hii can i get a better amen si ni kweli kuna first time kuna first time everybody has their first time kuna ile first time ulitumia gas cooker na huko unataka kusema hujui ulizunguka hapo that means hujapika oh i understand what i'm talking about how many of us have ever used firewood power <laughs> ile kitu unajua wewe ni expert wa jiko so ukifika mahali unashindwa na wapikana ni mtena jiko huko but you don't know people have upgraded if you are using jiko from today henceforth i ask you into the gas cooker level you are not saying amen. amen if you are still storing your milk in water in a sufuria may you receive your refrigerator receive an upgrade if you are still living in a self confused home umegawanyisha na curtain bwana akupatie maendeleo ndio upate mahali ya kufanya prayer walk hey! can you shout the loudest amen yeah. all of us have maybe i will not say all of us but mimi nimeishi hapo kwa unagawanyisha nyumba na bazia napikia hapa hata ukizunguka hiyo nyumba a thousand times you can't reach a kilometer but at wishingi hapo tena tulihama and what did we do you have to dare to go to places that look forbidden you can remember the very first time uliingia mall how many remember unaangalia kwa watu unasema gai hawa ni wasafi sasa hiyo umeenda kama jege hujui watu wakienda mall mall wanaenda wakiwa wasafi sio umeenda kama ni vile unaenda kama dhuru wa my friend unaenda kila mtu anaongea kizugu <laughs> amie jirani yako hata wewe unaenda hata wewe unaenda hmm. si ni kweli ukienda mall mara ya kwanza hujuangi vile kuko so wewe unaenda unaenda tu ukienda hata wale wenye mall wanajuaga mtu akwenda huko mara ya kwanza. Wanakuza unataka nini na wanakuharas. Usijali wakikuharas wacha kuweka kwa roho. Kuna siku itakuja wakikuwa nasema ma'am how can i help you? Itafika. Ambia jirani yako jitie nguvu, jitie nguvu. Mwana mdo wa gaine kweomia. Toto ranga ne kweomia. you die hard so quick ukienda wakuanga and you know like in those places they size you up there is a way at kale kanauza nani kale boy yako tu anaishi tu kwa mahali unaishi si ati anaishi mbali sana lakini kata ku size na unakuwa intimidated by your fellow poor person ule anaweza ni intimidate ni mwenye shop lakini mwenye shop sio yeye anakuintimidate gigi ukipatana na mwenye shop anajua hata yeye alikuwa hapo owners of shop can never mishandle you so remember my fellow citizen i am riding on my high places your attitude will not stop me have i delivered somebody ya yeah, ingia kwa hizo maofisi pia hizo kwa hizo maofisi na ukae kama huko hmm kaka Where life can be intimidating. Life. Those of you who've never gone abroad. The minute you enter a shop and you're a black person in a white dominated community. The number one thing that comes to their mind, you have come there to steal. And it's a truth and it goes everywhere. So one of those days wacha niwape hizo maadidi ndina wewe wakati utafika hapo utasema reverend niambia ambia jirani yako umemaliza ume sera basi ya dudhi aka ka kitu kabeba beba kanaitaga waje kakati kaka kubebewa mizigo na kat ah ume ride bicycle tuktuk uba hata hapo unapea kwa free dates you are entering another dimension you are flying to your high places sijaskia yeah. amen kuna mtu tunaongea na wewe hapa na christmas utakulia majuu hey 
Raze bakataya ndaboza. Not because you are qualified, but because the Lord is changing the message on your feet. So nikaenda hii na kwanga si venye unaenda ka duty free shop. Was you are waiting to board your next uh, flight? So I think I was. I think it's the time I was leaving from. from I think from Italy I had used British Airways. So ni mefika apo. Sin kana duty free shop because duty free shop you can buy gifts for people. I wanted to buy a perfume. Ni karia la suddenly. Ni poingia kwa shop. I have two attendants. One on this side, another one on this side. Nikijaribu kuguza, anakimbia, oh, you want this one? Na mimi, because I know there is nothing wrong with me, I started ordering them around. Because I knew their psychology. I'm like, yeah, pick up that one. Can I see it? Mbaka nikakuwa na tuwengi. If you called me wamoyo, I will tell you the devil is a liar. I'm writing on my high places. You will tread upon serpents and scorpions. Hata kama hiyo land imegadiwa na serpents and scorpions. Go and get your inheritance. Because my feet carry judgment. If you step on me the wrong way, the earth will open up and swallow you. That's why Jesus said that anywhere you go, our Kalibishe. Mbariki hiyo nyu. Lakini mukienda mahali, wawa treat na attitude ya madharahu, you carry dust on your feet. Imwaga mwage hapo, and withdraw peace. Nini ni mefanyika na migu yako, na vile umefanyo wa madharahu, na badara ya kupata kukosa peace, wamepata amani tangu utoke. Something must happen to your feet. Whoever is choking around with your destiny, they must pay for it. I can't get you a better amen. amen. Madharau lazima ifike mwisho. Unidharau tu kama unataka kuondolewa amani. Because that is what the Bible says. As long as you carry the message of Jesus in your mouth and you come in the name of the Lord. I'm not talking about gossip. Ati umempeki ya kugossip amekata. Nasema utajua migu yangu inabeba neema. Hakuna iti unowak. So I can ibereka, na mimi ni kanza, okay, like that one. No, I don't like that scent. Nidi muzungusha, because I knew I had more time. Tulipo maliza, nikarudi kwa hile nilikuwa nataka, because I knew what I wanted. Nikaona, ata hataki mimi ni bebe. Ana ni bebea. So kulikuwa na kiu. Kulikuwa na wazungu kama kumi. Hakuna alikuwa na mtu wa membebea. So nikatani kwa kia na nikaongeza volume. By the way, May I know why you're giving me special treatment? Hey, no, 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 no problem. Then, akajifanya anataka kunipea, and say, no, 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 I don't have a problem, you can carry that. But why are all these white people not having assistance? Why do I feel like you're supervising me? Munasikia kizugu, my friend. Alafu vila na indere, anaongeza volume. So, nikaona, then suddenly, I saw two black people. They were also being guarded. Hey! They're me. Because your feet carry dominion. Somebody say, my feet carry dominion. The skin of, the, the color of my skin has nothing to do with my inheritance. You better treat me good. Hey! Somebody say, I carry dominion on my feet. Wherever I go, I take over. Say, you kind of man. Sasa si anajaribu kunipatia hiyo kakikapu. Na mimi saa hiyo nikaongeza volume because I know one of the things that those people don't like being called is racist. Na saa hiyo si muzungu, ni muhindi. <laughs> and I have nothing wrong with them. But I would expect because wao wako na case. Ya wale poor na at least they should understand even if I'm poor. Even this one is being supervised. Even this one. Now, that time I'm smiling. Even this one is being supervised. Can I understand the logic behind it? Say, no, mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we give you giveaways? I said, no, I had money to buy. Say, you can go buy the perfume yourself. 
Tell your neighbor for me, your feet carry dominion. People mishandle you because you have allowed them. Hebu ambia jirani yako watu wanakutiti na madhara kwa sababu umewakubalisha. Mwambie leo tuna draw the line. Mm, lazima tu draw the line. Yeah. Mm, and that day I felt good. He I celebrated being black. I walked like I was feeling empowered. Because wherever your feet shall trend upon, I will give you. As an Why I had that audacity is before, because I had gone through that route before. A demon had already confessed that we have stopped you from coming here, but you are too powerful, we couldn't stop you. So I already knew who I am. So if I find the demon of racism in the airport, I will put it where it belongs. Because I know whoever is attacking me is not attacking me because I'm black. It is because I carry a mantle on my head. Go and punish the devil where you find him. Go and punish the devil where you find him. Lift up your voice and say, any contrary voice standing in my territory, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I silence you now. Keep quiet. Can rise up on your feet as we pray now. Rake bobo shata baba baba daya nara bosa. Because you bring the water now. Mandere bobo shata mana na ne. Mate sopa da gada da bobo shata mana mana masiya be de 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 bobo shata riaba. Rake bobo shete mana mana masiya mana mana masiya be. Rake be keto mana mana masiya na mana masiya be. In Jesus name Tell your neighbor for me whatever happens to others Must not happen to you Even if you are in the same place The rules apply To those Who do not know God You will change every law And every rule That does not favor you And if you do it in the house of God This is the highest place This is why the Bible is saying that on the mountain This is the mountain top you will remove your shoes and your socks. And you will let your feet touch the altar. That is why Muslims never go to the, to the mosque with their shoes on. All the regions of the world that know the power in their feet, they never go to their houses of worship. When Moses approached the burning bush, what was he told? Remove your shoes. Because the place you are standing on is holy. What really also marveled me is that Aaron and the sons were told that any time you're going into the altar or the holy place, you shall wash your hands and wash your feet so that you may become clean. Because you cannot stand on the mountain of the Lord unless your feet is purified. That means that God is able to read the message on your feet. You will open up your mouth and tell God, if there is any accusation upon my feet, let the blood of Jesus cleanse me. Open up your mouth and pray. If there be any accusation, all the bloodshed that happened in your generation, your feet has a record. All the trespass that was done against people, your feet. Jeremiah 22, 30. Begin to cry to God. Get serious and pray about it. Wana ni samehe Kama kuna maandish Ya uovu katika miguya Wana naomba ni urumie Nikumuke Baba Unapo wazuru wengine naoma unikumuke Nisinipite Kama vizazi walimuaga damu. Kama kuna watu walipanda madabau ya uchawi. Imeandikwa kwenye nyayo zako. Ingia mahali pata katiku kama umejitakasa. Ambia buwana takasa migu ya. Takasa mapito ya. Usinipite. Baba. Unapo wazuru wengine naoma unikumuke, unikumuke. 